Good morning, Morton West. Today is Monday and it's February. Happy February 1st today. Please join me in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. You may be seated. And since it's February 1st, we're gonna celebrate our first February birthdays of 2021. Happy birthday to Ephraim, Alexandria, Eduardo, Ariano, Alondra, Rafael, and Miguel. I hope you all have a great day today. And happy birthday to Mr. Delmonico, one of our special education teachers. Enjoy your day too. And do not forget the importance of our protecting ourselves, protecting our loved ones and our community. District 201 Health and Safety videos are here. There is a short four-part series that will be shared with students and staff today. The videos range in length from one minute to two and a half minutes. So a nice quick watch that will give you a very uh, visual summary of what health and safety mitigations are in place here at Morton District 201. And don't forget the importance of masks, social distancing, and keeping your hands and areas clean. Today is Mustang Monday, students, so attendance is required in your classrooms and your teachers will be posting learning activities that are asynchronous. And I put our Mustang Monday flyer up here just to remind you of the days that we are doing this. And questions that have been asked by students. How do I know if I'm in the silver or maroon group? Right here, I have a step-by-step -step process that will allow you to check in your Skyward student access to see, are you signed up for maroon or silver group? And did your parents select you to come in person or remain remote? Other big question from students is what is changing in my schedule? So your schedule this morning and what it's been for this first semester is the visual on the left here. And this student's schedule shows that he had PE2 first period and Chem Honors fifth period. The data team is working on adjusting student schedules. So today after about 3 p.m., you can check your Skyward schedule or your Skyward student access and you will see that Chemistry Honors now fills that first hour time slot and Physical Education fills that fifth hour time slot. Now the Bell schedule will also be adjusted to start the hybrid version, which again begins first hour at 7.45 even though on these um, screens here, it shows 845 because that's still showing the remote schedule. And what does that mean for you? The result is that all first and fourth hour lunch periods will actually be late arrival for students because we're not serving lunches in the building. Those will be a grab and go as you leave at the end of either your morning or afternoon session. And if you are a student with third hour lunch, you can see that on the days when you have third hour lunch, you will be leaving early. Any questions, don't hes out, hesitate to reach out and ask. And from the Dean's office and the FMPs, they are inviting you to the next brain break. Let's cook up a game plan. It is taking place on the Teams page on February 3rd at 11.30. And this will give you some insight on how to plan your semester to be stress-free. And Mustang softball news, any ladies that are interested in playing softball should be aware that Morton softball is starting this spring. Very exciting that we're getting sports back today. Today's the first day of practices for those winter sports. Keep checking the schedule or the daily announcement for updated dates and times. Any questions, you may reach out to Coach O'Neill, who is the freshman softball coach, and her email address is here. And today's Monday, so we have a lot of after-school activities, as well as a few that meet during the morning or during 
uh, office hours. So we can see Adventure Club, Intramurals, App Development, Junior Class, Scholastic Bowl, Sophomore Class, and Tutoring and College Services. Snowball is offering up this cool t-shirt that you can buy for 10 bucks at our bookstore. Support Snowball and join us all in quarantined, but not alone. And from our College and Career Center, always keeping us updated on the latest scholarships. This week, we are highlighting a scholarship from the Illinois Chemical Education Foundation that is due on February 19th. And the BSF, BNSF Railway Foundation also has a scholarship that is due on February 25th. And seniors, today's the last day to order those graduation products from Justin's, um, as you can see right here. And don't forget school resources. This week's topic from our social worker and psychologist in our Morton West Wellness series is physical activity and mental health. And never forget students, you are not alone. We have our counselor and social worker contact here for questions, concerns, or any special needs that you may have. And Coffee with the Principal is scheduled for Thursday at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. So make sure you pass it on to your parents. And today is Monday. So we do not have a seven day meal distribution location today, but a single day meal packet can be picked up at Morton West. Tomorrow on Tuesday, the place is Striker Lanes. And the newsletter comes out every week and provides important information for parents. And last week's daily attendance on Friday was 89%, giving us a average daily attendance last week of 99%. Morton West, great job. Have a fabulous Monday. It is asynchronous and we will see you tomorrow. Remember, if you are coming in person, tomorrow is the first day that we begin the hybrid schedule and are so excited to welcome students back. So I hope to see you then.